Many students find it quite daunting when they've collected some qualitative data and they don't know how to analyse it. For example, they may have six interview transcripts in front of them and might not be quite certain about how to start trying to look for the themes. Well, my suggestion is to use the constant comparative method. This is often talked about in discussions of grounded theory, but in fact it can be used with any form of qualitative data. Essentially, it means looking for similarities and differences between cases. And I suggest to start off by looking at your first two interviews and making a simple list of what's similar and what's different between them. This would be probably quite straightforward in the case of two interviews. When you then add a third, it becomes more complicated. You find that there are probably less things that are similar or identical between all three interviews, more things that are different, and probably some things where there's bits of differences and bits of similarities. But if you can go on building up a list until you've got all your cases included in the analysis, you're likely to end up with a small number of similarities and a much larger and more complex uh, list of differences. With the similarities, a question you have to address is, does everyone have to express an opinion or have an experience for it to count as a similarity? Or should I say this if I'm going to, if say five of the six respondents have expressed a particular view, that should be viewed as a consensus between, between the respondents. The differences require more complex analysis and you may spend a lot of time discussing how responses were different um, and what overall themes you can spot in, uh, among the differences. But that's a very brief account of how the constant comparative method can get you started with qualitative data analysis. And if you want to read more, then I strongly recommend this book, Qualitative Data Analysis from Start to Finish, which is written by me, Jamie Harding of Northumbria University, and the book is available from Sage Publications. Thank you.